out of jail most of the time, no one's going to be there to greet you. Jeez, you got big. Yeah, at the cafeteria the whole time? It's pretty much the way you left it when you went to college. Ma, that was 20 years ago, and it's nothing like the way I left it. You probably want to put some clean sheets on it. You, you know? think? I made a fresh pot if you want some. Did I tell you that Joan died? I couldn't believe it. It was like such a shock to everyone. scissors, leave them alone. My show's coming on today. Can you do that? Why don't you grab a London broil and we'll have that for dinner? I'll boil up some uh, corn and some mash to go with it. You gotta get this place cleaned up. I mean, I can't live like this. You've been in the prison for years and, and you can't live like this? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Leave my stuff alone, will ya? You haven't been in here any amount of time and all you want to do is move my stuff around? You're just like your goddamn father. Well, that's a relief. You don't understand. I like it like this. You like it like this, Ma? Really? It's like a science experiment gone wrong. Is that how you feel? Why don't you just get your own apartment and see if I care? And this stuff is going to kill you. Jeez, Mom, okay. In a second. I, there wasn't any uh, cans of corn, so I made up some green cuts. That's fine.
Get your ass in here, then it's getting cold. Jesus, Colin. Come in, Ma! Ma, can you at least wait till I'm finished eating? You really could stop eating, period. Honest to God, you really let yourself go, son. Your father'd be really disappointed. Why, because I gained a few pounds? Jeez, give me a break. What are you going to do next, anyway? I need to get a job. I gotta get back to society. I can still smell it. Stop your goddamn God, that whining, stink. Colin. Still my house. Don't forget it. Look, you're making a fucking mess. Jesus Christ. Don't spill anything in there. The computer tells me you're incarcerated. It seems you left that off your resume. I was recently exonerated. That's not what the system indicates. No, it's definitely telling me differently. Play. Well, differently than what? Real life, it seems. Virtual red tape, really. We'll reschedule an interview in a few weeks. When your information's updated by the state. But until then, there's nothing we can do. There's no way we can place you until this red flag is cleared. So that's it? That's it. Great. <sighs> Colin Friedberg has served four years of a lifetime sentence for a murder he didn't commit. That's right, Kelly. The state granted Colin's release yesterday. After recently submitted DNA evidence, once thought to be corrupted, has absolved him of the case. Recently discovered DNA evidence from the murder of Darlene Terenio has linked the violent death to an already incarcerated man, Michael Tanner, who's currently serving for attempted murder in another case. They keep calling you Colin. <laughs> like the late great Colin Powell. <laughs> That's a not shame dead, Ma. A real shame for this man. Great man. Well, now on to lighter news. This cat has recently gotten over 50 million hits in just two days on Google. Why? To get those slims while you're at Wawa? The Zyla. No! That'll do it for our 5 o'clock news hour. Up to Thank the God I have an emergency relief act just in case. Around the world and beyond. Stay safe, everyone, and happy holidays. No one's ever gonna hire me in the corporate world. You don't need a job, you got savings. It's not only about the job, Ma. You want me to make you something hot for dinner? Let, let me get you something, I'll heat it up. Just something to eat. Don't you think this is strange, Ma? I mean, me here after four and a half years in a cell? The whole time I'm pleading my innocence, you never once gave an opinion? Never once said whether you believe me or not? Your dad always believed in your innocence. Let's face it, Colin. You got all the qualities of a serial killer. I loved you no matter what I thought about the murder. You're out now. So, I guess that answers that question. Hey, how about I get you some liver and onions? Too sick to eat right now. You always loved my liver and onions. I'm gonna be alone forever.
sorry. I, I forgot. I, this room hasn't been used in so long. Really Fine, cold. just knock before you come in, please. I would like to make you a scarf. It's going to be cold this winter. Okay, that's fine. Just knock before you come in. Don't hurt yourself. You're really going out. Mom, out! <sighs> All right, Colin. It's Colin. Oh, uh, the news anchors keep saying Colin. Yeah, they're wrong. Um, I'm not sure why they would make that mistake, but it's definitely Colin, not Cole. Okay, well, Colin, I am just going to be as upfront with you as possible and let you know that we have a very strict policy at Burger Buns right now. We're not allowed to hire anyone without at least two years fast food experience. And to be honest, um, securities management and system processor does not really scream uh, customer service, but luckily for you, I just got off the horn with corporate and... I just got the cheese slice prices down from $0.25 cents to $0.22 cents region-wide. I'm pretty happy about that. I might be able to pull some strings and get you started. You know, we believe in second chances here. In fact, you kind of remind me of an older version of myself just out here trying to make your way and get some goals accomplished. And um, so what I'm going to do is you're going to have to start off on the fryer like I did and maybe work your way up, then eventually, who knows, you could be in my position one day, making twelve fifty an hour with all the benefits. I just need you to fill out some paperwork. Idiot. Burger buns. Okay. Hmm. So, Colin. Really, this again? My name is Colin, not Colin. Colin. Well, that's what it says in the news. You believe everything they tell you? Well, yeah. It's the news. Can I have my resume back, please? Oh, yeah, sure. You know, you're not going to get hired with that kind of an attitude. I pray for you, Mrs. F. You too, Mrs. F. You never change. Oh, there he is. The Walking Dead. Welcome back, buddy. Hey, Phil. How are you? Long time. Not as long as you just experienced. <laughs> but you were always getting yourself in trouble. Wasn't he, Mrs. F? Remember when he picked up that Chevy Vega and started running that around Oh, town. no, that was he and his dad. That had nothing to do with me. <laughs> then he gets himself <laughs> into this murder in prison situation, huh? But, uh, well, you're back now. You're back. So what, what are you going to do? Just trying to find work. Yeah. Hey, Phil, how's your mom? Oh, she passed away into the arms of our Lord a few years back. Well, you, you tell her hey from me, you know? <laughs> hey. If your mom was still around, she'd be telling you to give my boy a job at that, that gymnasium thing you work at. Mom, it's a mall. And Phil's not expected to give me a job just because you ask. Yeah, well, it's the neighborly thing to do. No biggie, Phil. I mean, nobody in their right mind would be expected to give an ex-con a job, even if I am innocent. I'm a devout man of faith. I do believe Jesus has a mission for you. And I truly believe in rehabilitation of the soul. Through the words of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Fuck Jesus. Ma! I'm sorry, she's been acting strange lately. You, you, were, you were saying. Oh, I, I do want to help you, Colin, and it's my duty to get you back into society's good graces. Now, I have a position as Santa Claus for the upcoming Christmas holiday season. Last guy, I had a fire because he wouldn't come to work. Lots of disappointed young faces. You do look like you'd fit the costume. The only thing is, you'd have to come to a Bible study meeting that I hold each week as part of the job requirement. Yeah, uh, Phil, I'm really not a man of faith. Well, you say that now, but we'll show you the way to him. I believe that the criminal mind can only be rehabilitated by accepting Jesus as our true Lord and Savior. But I'm innocent. It was proven. Well, those are the job requirements. Why don't you give it a try, huh? It's not that hard. You talk to the children, you say ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas and such. You give them a candy cane, 
and you send them on their way to shop. I'm almost out of Slim's. You know, I give you the goddamn car for the last two days, and you can't even stop at Wawa for I'll go me. today, Ma. Yeah, Hold well, on. Yeah, right. Good. I'll pray for you, Mrs. F. Yeah. Tom, huh? you want to give it a go? Yeah, sure. It'll make the transition easier. Oh, that's great. Really swell, Carl. All right, you come down tomorrow at 8 o'clock. We'll take a tour of the mall, then I'll go through the Santa suit protocol, and you fill out some paperwork. Yeah, okay. Appreciate it. Then we're having Bible study at 9. We're discussing the Psalms of David. Hmm. Sounds glorific. It is, it is. Interviews being held for a new management company seeking talent and models for representation. Reply here with headshots and size cards for consideration, along with a resume. Audition for film, television, and commercials in Philly and New York. And publish. It'll hang here, neatly. Before and after every shift. Now before you put the costume on, very important, you want to spray it with some of this apple cinnamon spray. Mmm. Has the scent of Christmas for each child. Makes the experience even more magical. Praise God. You throw the costume in the dryer, okay, for 10 minutes on fluff dry. Hang it neatly, neatly, okay, until next use. Make sure to squirt some breast spray into your mouth before hitting the floor. Hmm. Interesting aftertaste. Well, it's a formula that has been proven. I think I'll be fine, Philip. Oh, of course you will. Of course you will. Could always, could always count on my dear friend, Colin. Let's walk. The mall is now closed. Please make your Today way. is your lucky day. Thank you. We have totally renovated, through the grace of God, our Santa's workshop. I mean, look at this snow. It's the latest in synthetic quality. Feel that, isn't that beautiful? All right, you're the Santa. You're the Santa. All these kids are gonna love you. You don't take breaks. I don't like breaks. Santa, it's a one time a year job, all right? You do is, Elf, uh, Santa needs your help. We have the security guard always looming around. He's a great guy. You just get him and he'll escort you out for a few minutes. Remember the key is, Keep this line moving. And, and, and by the way, all right, look, I'm sticking my neck out, okay? So let's keep it hush-hush on the recent publicity surrounding you. I hate to say it, okay, but my vendors don't need the controversy. Just take a second. Santa is in his workshop. Praise Jesus. Praise him good. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. And let's let God feel our silence. We love you, God. Let's feel that in silence. And breathe. Okay, okay. Yeah, give a hug. 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 Praise Jesus. We love you. Can you just feel Jesus yes, running through you? Jesus. Praise, oh. praise Jesus. Praise yes. Jesus. Welcome. Welcome Thank and you. peace to you. Oh, Thank right. you. Now, I know it's a treat. I know it's a treat. And it's been on my heart all week. It has been on my heart. 
that we are really going to delve into the Psalms. Absolutely. All right, the Psalms, the Psalms of yes. David. Yes. Remember yes. David yes. defeated Goliath. Yes. Yes. All right, and tonight we're going to focus on Psalm 144. Yes. But before we do, is there anything any of you, my friends, would like to offer? Oh, oh me, me. Can yes. I uh, sing a song, maybe? Sure, yeah. praise oh, God. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Oh, praise the Lord. I love Jesus, oh, I love Jesus, oh, we all need Jesus, yeah, Jesus, Jesus. That was wonderful. Amen. Praise you. You are feeling it with your soul. Praise you. Well, I've been remiss tonight. I haven't really introduced our newest member, my dear friend Colin to the group. Praise Welcome Jesus, to Colin. Colin. How are you? Yes. Now, Colin has had oh, a rough go of it, to say the least, over the past few years. You know why? Jesus in New York. He hasn't had a relationship with God. That's why he's had a rough time. But he's here tonight. He's here tonight to say, let's put sin behind us. Let's open our heart to the Holy Spirit to you, Father God. And so, Colin, on behalf of all of us, we say welcome, brother. It is time to walk the path of righteousness. Open up. Okay. Well, I spent the last four and a half years in prison for something I didn't do. I was in there with murderers and rapists. I had to fight for everything. I had to fight for my meals. I had to fight if I wanted a clean shirt. To fight to go out, fight for time in the yard, fight for clothes. I had to fight not to be somebody's bitch, and not to get fucked up the ass. Now, I'm living with my mother. who's never shown me a day of compassion in her entire life. And here I am, working as a mall Santa, coming to a prayer meeting. My life has hit an all-time high. Santa everybody's telling me about. Colin. It's Colin. And you are? Colin. How are you? I'm Robert Crowley, Mall Security. Oh, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Good to meet you too, Colin. So tell me, how'd they get you into that Santa suit? <laughs> well, I need to work. This fell on my lap. You take what you can get, right? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. What's your story? Well, you know, I was driving trucks for over 24 years with the government. But I couldn't stay retired. Man, too many working years left for me. You know what I mean? And uh, besides that, the extra pay and all of the beautiful people that I see in the mall made it worthwhile. I got you. I've noticed a few out there. Are you married? I am not married. It's a long, ugly story you don't want to hear. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm divorced myself many years. You know, Colin, seems like we got a lot in common. 
two readily available and charming bachelors. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Does it get any better than that now, does it? <laughs> That's right. Listen, I got to go back to work. So I'll see you out there. I'll see you on the floor, Rob. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Hey, buddy. Good news from the floor. Seems you're a pretty good Santa. That's good to hear. Yeah. A uh, good week for the shops, too. Praise Jesus. Uh, Kyle, you want to put some pants on? Great. So, what do you think about locking up this weekend? It's an annual tradition to take the family up to the North Pole for the holiday. Been doing it since Ezekiel, my firstborn. Do you think you can handle it for a few days? Yeah, sure, if, if you're comfortable with that. I trust in the Lord's intent on second chances. Plus, you're not a vessel for the unholy elixir of destruction. I have no idea what that means, but okay. You're not a drunk, Carl. Okay, buddy. Big moment. Here you go. That was easy enough. I'm gonna use Phil's office. I'm gonna use Phil's office. I'm gonna use Phil's office! Yeah! Ma, you okay? <laughs> Jesus, Mary and John, you scared the hell out of me, Ray. It's me, Mom. I know who you are. The goddamn mice scared me, they woke me up. Where are you gonna get them fixed, Ray? Mom, I'm not dead. You can go down that goddamn bar with your friends all you want, but you just leave me miserable. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> this is oh, I gotta good. get you to bed. It's so Come on. Oh. I don't wanna go to bed. Oh, Ray. I'm so tired. It just doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine, Mom. <laughs> okay, Mom. Under the sheet. Everything's gonna be fine. I just lay back and relax. Take it in me, Ray. Please come for an interview. Twenty-four eleven Mall Drive. Thank you very much. And looking forward to meeting you. Hey, Colin! Everything's looking good. There's just a few cars left in the lot for the late night cinema crowd. Oh, great. Thank you, Robert. Thanks. Hey, what's going on in here? Oh, well, uh, Phil asked me to keep the Bible study thing going while he was out of town, and uh, I'm, I'm just getting set up for it. Okay. All right, then I'll help you. Oh, okay, I've got this. oh, no, Robert, Robert, you don't have to do that, really. No, you've had a long day. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's all right. No, 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 absolutely. You go home. I'll get this. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. You sure now? Absolutely. All 100%. right. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Um, 
I just want to be like I just want to be a singer and I just want to like further my career. Okay. And do you have any experience? Yeah, I have like 7 years over more experience than that too. Tell me some of the things you've done. Um I did plays um all over the country and I've done a lot of shows and concerts. Well, I'm a singer, a songwriter, and um and I'm an actress. And uh, what brings you in here today? Um, I just I want to see what, uh, opportunities I can have. Um, I'm very interested in working with you and uh, creating new experiences. I was told that you know that you guys are you know representing people, so I thought I'd come in and and see what you think. Uh, I'd like to ask you to come back for the uh, on camera. Really? Yes. Would that be all oh right? Oh my God! Yes. Next. <clears throat> Is this the interview for the talent agency? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the right place. Please, come in. Hi, I'm, I'm Colin. Hi. And you are? Mindy Lorenzo. Mindy Lorenzo. With a Z. Yes. With a Z. So, Mindy, <clears throat> um, what brings you in I today? used to sing, and uh, I was just coming down to see what you guys were all about. I have uh, an eight-year-old daughter. I work two jobs, and I'm just curious to know what you guys are all about. Well, I, I can tell you right off the bat that you have got um, a very interesting look, one that is very popular these days, and I would like to ask you to come back for an on-camera audition. Well, I'm gonna need to hear your credentials first, you know, to gauge whether you're legit or oh. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I interned on a lot of, um, uh, commercial productions. I, I studied directing at NYU. I worked on a lot of independent films. Really, I have an eye for talent and faces. And I think that you've got the look that the, all the casting directors are looking for nowadays. It's very sweet of you to say, but <laughs> I'm really not sure whether I'm right for this kind of thing. I mean, I, I don't even know what you're looking for, and I really don't know why I'm in this random office in the back corner of the mall. But um, I can tell you that I pretty much despise the way women are portrayed in today's society for the most part. And uh, I'm definitely not the girl that likes to parade herself around in tight clothes and lots of makeup. Oh, excuse me, y'all here for Bible study? That you have a very natural look, a very beautiful look. Thanks. A and I would love it if, if, if you'd come back for the camera audition. Ah, uh, um. I'm not sure. It depends on my schedule. Sure. Uh, come! What's going on? This don't look like Bible study. Oh, uh, well, thank you for coming in. Uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> thank you so much, really. <clears throat> What's going on, Colin? You said we were setting up for Bible study. There's no Bibles here, no Santa suit. Where are the chairs? You caught me, okay? Yes, I'm using Phil's office while he's out of town, but it's only temporary. I am trying to get my life back on track. Colin, I understand that very well. But what if Phil finds out? He'll fire both of us. Listen, I actually used to work in entertainment, so I know a little bit about what I'm doing here. And this could be a really lucrative business, okay? For me and a partner. I, I need some help. Lose my job. He's all the way up at the North freaking Pole. We could both make a lot of money at this. I don't know. Y you like girls, don't you? I love women. I do love women. You ever run a video camera before? No, not really. But I am a quick learner, though. Great. I can show you how. I can teach you all the tricks of the trade. Come on, what do you say? I tell you what, I'll work with you, only if I get to see all of those beautiful girls. Guarantee. Deal. Partner? Partner. I want a makeup set and art supplies, a laptop, sunglasses, headphones, new clothes, a pair of earrings. Let's see, what else? <laughs> Aren't you a little old to still be doing this? Doing what? The whole Santa lap thing. Well, how else am I supposed to get a free candy cane?
Hello, little girl. What's your name? I'm actually in a debate with myself this year on whether or not to believe in you. I wonder how detrimental it may be in my adult life if I let the delusion of a fairy tale affect my cognitive functions. Ah, I'm sorry. Her name is Tess. Don't be rude. I blame it on the books. Oh, well, Tess, right now let's focus on what you want for Christmas. Afterworld peace and no starving kids? I guess I would want my mom to be happy. Oh, honey. Let's not air our dirty laundry in public, okay, sweetie? It's okay. <laughs> well, those are very remarkable gifts to ask for for such a young lady. I know. It's like my brain never stops working. You do make some very good points. <laughs> so, what's your real job? This is my real job. Listening to children tell me what they want for Christmas. How do you get all those gifts down the chimney in one night all across the world? That is a very good question. But if I told you... There wouldn't be any magic in what I do. It's up to your imagination to decide. Wow, that's pretty deep, Santa. <laughs> well, now Tess, is there anything you want that I can bring you for Christmas? I guess... It would be the Bill Nye Science Guy chemistry set, but it's pretty expensive. My mom says it'll break the bank. <laughs> well, I will get my elves on that order right away. <laughs> I won't hold my breath. But it would be a nice surprise. Hey, Tess, look this way. One, two, three. Well, Tess, I will put your gift at the top of my list. Your myth depends on it, but it was nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Oh my god, it is you. This is so fucked up. And they let you play Santa? What? And be around children? A goddamn convict? Wait. I was incarcerated for murder, not child molestation. Oh, oh. and that's supposed to make it okay? What about this whole management company thing, huh? What's it's, that about? It's a new business venture. Yeah, well, this coming from the murdering Santa working at the mall. Look, I'm not a murderer. I I'm not a criminal. I never was. I just... I'm an innocent man trying to find his way back. Yeah, you know what? I am so not interested in coming to your callback now. God. You know what you did? You did. You seem so legit. Oh. I am. I mean, I was. Before this happened, I worked in entertainment. Doing what? Accounting. <laughs> How did you wind up in a murder case? It's a complicated story. I'd need more time to explain it to you. Look, it would be great if you would just trust me and know that you are what everyone is looking for. Yeah, you know what? You know what? No. It was... <laughs> See, it was just a pipe dream to begin with. I was just looking for something different in this dead town of zombies. That's why I answered the ad, and that's why I came to the interview, but you know what? I'm not. I'm not a model. I'm not an actor. I am... I'm just a girl with balls. <laughs> See, Mom, I told you Santa isn't real. Yeah, yeah, more than you know. Come on. Wait, Mindy, I really think you should reconsider trying out. Not interested. You have got something special. Just have coffee with me sometime. I am really busy. I've got tests, I've got two jobs in school. I am so not the girl that has that kind of time, okay? If you want to hear about my ordeal, I will give you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the okay, truth. Well, I am a little curious to know what happened. 20 minutes anywhere, anytime. You name it. You know the brew house on Milltown Road? Y yeah, the one across from Wawa? Yeah, I'll see you there before I have to pick up Tess from aftercare. Four o'clock, 20 minutes. Yes, great. You going on a date with Santa? Oh, no. Let's go, Santa. We got a big line of kids ahead of us. <laughs> Let's do this, elf.
I'm dying here without those cigarettes. Did you stop it, Wawa? Well, for God's sake, tell me you did. Really use them. This is the last day of the offer. I hate that you make me do this. Oh, <laughs> but it makes me happy. Be satisfied that you're giving me some happiness. <laughs> All right, I made you some hoagies and chips. You hungry? I'm starved. <laughs> there you go. All right. Ah! Damn cross. Gonna stand there watching me, or you're gonna join me. So, how's the Santa business? It's good. Keeps him busy. Have you heard from your lawyer yet? Not yet. Still negotiating a deal. You're gonna be a rich man soon. <laughs> Well, first things first. We've got to get you out of here and get you into some place clean to start again. Oh, Carl. I don't want to go. I, I'm tired. I don't want to move. Well, you can't live like this. It's it's like an episode of Hoarders. I mean, it's not healthy. Well, I just worry about you. You know, it. you could trip. You could fall. I mean, it's so cluttered. And you can't find anything. I know where my scissors are. Son. Yeah, Ma? Sometimes I don't know who I am. Yeah, Ma, I, I noticed. Um, how you doing now? I'm clearer right now. It comes and goes. I, that's why I got all those pills. They don't seem to be working anymore. What do you need me to do? Just be. That's all anybody can do. Okay, Mom. I think she blew me off. I'm gonna rap accordion. My name is Kelly from the block. I like a lot of... Come to me. Why don't you come to me? Why don't you come to me? I never felt it, now I feel it, and it's just in time. I never felt it, now I feel it, and I'm feeling fine. Today's the day, the best day, and I mean it. Today's the day, my best day, can you feel it? They said I couldn't, but I did, don't need to settle down. They said I couldn't, but I did, turned it all around. Today's the day, the best day, and I mean it. Today's the day, my best day. Allow me to escort you to the hallway. <sighs> oh, I'm glad you could make it. Don't like to disappoint. 
I was really late picking up tests after work because of a staff meeting that I had no idea about. Her school gets really pissed when parents pick up their kids late, so... Understandable. I guess me coming here today is my way of saying I'm sorry, but um, there was really nothing else I could do, so... Let's get on with it. What, what do you want to do for us today? Well, I was thinking maybe I would sing a song. Yeah, sure. Great. Okay. Wait for a call that you know just won't come. You reach out in vain since the ties come undone. It's a slow suicide when love doesn't love you. Must be a lover of all things blue. Each day you wake up, foolish hope springs anew. Must be a lover of all things blue. <laughs> Mindy, Mindy, that was amazing. Thank you. You were unbelievable. No. And now I, we both know I have to represent you. Are you sure? Absolutely. Ah. Whatever we have to do to make this happen. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'm, I'm saying. Give me some time. I'm saying yes. Good, yeah. Good. Should we? Um, but wait a minute. I, I kind of also want to hear about your case, like. You know, the real scoop and nothing but the scoop. So, so should we try meeting up again? Yeah. Um, and I won't stand you up this time, I promise. <laughs> um, I, what about the uh, brew house? Uh, what time? 9 a.m. I got to be at the mall by 10. Okay. Yeah? So I will, I will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Sounds good. Awesome. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Now that was fun. I even got her phone number. Mona. Sweet Mona. Good for you, man. And what about that girl, Mindy? Man, she sure does have a set of pipes on her, doesn't she? So what's next? I'm not sure. She said she'd meet me for coffee tomorrow. I'm talking about what's next for the management company. Oh, well, we'll have to draw up some contracts, uh, sign the people we're interested in repping, and we're going to have to rent an office somewhere. Well, you know what? If I knew this was going to be so much fun, bringing in such great talent, I would have ditched my rig years ago. And this mall security gig, man, I want to do this. Robert. Look, I'm glad you had fun and you got a date out of the whole thing, but I gotta be honest with you. I wasn't necessarily determined to start an agency. Well, well, that sucks. But you're right. It is a good way to meet the ladies. Well, maybe we can work something out. It depends on a few things. I will know more soon enough. <sighs> It helps me sleep. I was at a bar. I was drunk. I went outside to puke near some trash bins. And, uh, well, there was this woman laying there. And I bent down to see if she was all right. I, I wasn't sure if she was breathing. I lifted up her head. And I looked at my hands, and there was blood all over my hands. I freaked out. I, I panicked. You know, I, I was drunk, so I got super scared. I just left. And uh, a couple days later, the police were at my place questioning me. God. I mean, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's, um, let's talk about you and that amazing voice of yours. What on earth made you stop singing? I had tests. Having a kid made you stop singing? No. 
Um, her father left me when I was seven months pregnant. Oh. And, um, you know, that was it. But look, you know, I, I, don't, I don't blame anybody for the way my life went. You know, I have my daughter, I love her, and I gotta take care of my baby, you know? It's just, I haven't had time to chase a dream. But that's how I can help you. I mean, that's why we started this agency. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for me to trust men. <sighs> or anybody, for that matter. I appreciate your honesty, but I, I do just want to help. I mean, and it's not like it's a handout, because you're gonna have to sing for it. But I think that once people hear you sing, they will not stop listening. <laughs> I had to say, last night, <laughs> I haven't sung like that in years. Made me realize how much I missed it. Thank you for being so kind. Listen, I, I gotta get going. Uh, the mall's gonna be crazy busy today. Can I call you again? It's been a long time. I'm really out of practice. You know, the whole dating thing. I just know that you are super easy to talk to, and it really helps me. And Considering what I've been through in the last four and a half years, I mean, you make life fun again. <laughs> Must be a masochist because I am definitely not the tenderest heart in all the female world. <laughs> but you are genuine, and that's a rarity. It's nice to hear. trip. How in the name of God did my wife's picture get in my desk drawer? And more importantly, why? Must have been the night cleaning crew. The cleaning crew? The cleaning crew? The cleaning crew, Claire. The cleaning crew. The cleaning crew. I had a postponed Bible study class tonight. I'm in no condition to be speaking so much now. You were coming, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, well, what a disappointment. Yeah, well, I rescheduled it to next Monday, so make sure you can make it. Okay, yeah, looking forward to it. But, um, I guess I'll, I'll be going now, Philip. Uh, feel better, huh? Uh, Kyle? Yeah. Are you forgetting something? My cross. All right, get going. <laughs> hey, Carl! Carl! Did he ask you about the office? Yeah, we forgot to replace a freaking picture on his shelf. He showed me where he found it in the desk drawer. Oh man, he asked me three times a day if I was in there at all this week. What if I saw anyone? I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh man, what, a, what about my job? Yeah, your job is fine. Come on! My job! Why do you think that you're not in my life anymore? Yeah, standing on the edge of the road with Tess for an hour after school. I will never, ever, ever do that again. Do you understand me? Never. No, and stop calling me. Mom, can I have a glass of water, please? Can I? 
Yeah, yeah, baby. Hold on a minute, okay? Maybe it didn't go through. Maybe it didn't go through. Boxes and wings, one foot out the door. Each time he gives less when you begged him for more. And your heart's on your sleeve like a branded tattoo. Must be a lover of all things blue. lady close your eyes and go to sleep we're going to grandma's for breakfast in the morning and then i'll be stuck there while you go to work i know the protocol we have to pay the bills sweetheart that is what adults do i'm old enough to take care of myself tess you're a child if i left you home alone i would go to jail for negligence i wish i didn't have to go to work all the time me too but you know what? Christmas is here, and the only way to have it is to work. I thought that was Santa's job. Yeah, well, <laughs> we all need a little help. All right, enough talk. Love you, Mom. You're my greatest gift, Tess. Best present that anyone could ever get. Each day you wake up Foolish hope yes. springs a Must be a lover of all things blue hmm. No message Good morning, Ma you got the tree up. Well, I thought the place could use a little Christmas spirit, you know? I haven't had that up since your dad passed. Well, it's time to move on. Bring a little joy back into this place. There hadn't been any joy here since the neighbors died. You know, I'm expecting a carton under that tree Christmas morning. Just so you know. I gotta get to the mall. Do me a favor, hey, bring me the the Chronicle when you come to the, come on, bring it in from the porch. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, we are so sorry. Yes. Yes, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry that you had a bad breakfast as you read your newspaper. Yes, we apologize for the discussion that you had with your children. Yes, but if you would please give us another chance. We appreciate your service, your sales. Please come on in. Yes, yes, you too, ma'am. Have, uh, have a Merry Christmas, okay? Thank you. It's been going off all morning. What happened? I thought you were going to keep this thing quiet. Well, I didn't say anything. Calm down, folks. Calm down. It's going to be all right. Hey, Phil, we got to get here quick. we got a lot of protesters here, and they're getting out of control. But this photographer has been following me around since the day I was released. I bet it had something to do with him. Uh, and now 
I've got a crowd down there causing chaos at Santa Land. They're protesting and rioting. I might even have to shut this thing down today. What? No Santa Claus? Well, what about the kids? The kids aren't spending money in the stores. There, but for the grace of God, oh, sweet Jesus, our sales are going to be so terrible this week. It's just a hyped up story for a local newspaper to try to sell more papers. I'm not a murderer or a child rapist, Phil. This is ridiculous. So what do you want me to do? Go down and try to reason with these people? I can't reason with them. They're out for blood, the merciless heathens. We're going to have to put out a call to fill your spot. What? You're firing me. What do you want me to do? This is a let's jump to conclusions community. Isn't Jesus going to be pretty pissed? Now, you don't go there. You don't bring Jesus, my Jesus, my beloved Jesus, into the middle of this. Oh, well, why not? You introduced me to him. That doesn't matter. Your reputation has been questioned. And this group goes crazy. They jump to conclusions. They're overly emotional. They don't think things through. And I tell you what, I blame the interweb. The interweb. Now look, I like you. You like me. But the fact of the matter is, the cat is out of the bag. And I got to let you go. I got to let you go. I don't want to, but I got to let you go. I, I got to let you go. Whatever. But I understand. But I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. You think I'm happy about it? You're a good Santa. But look, this is this is temporary, right? You did a good job, but it's a temporary gig. So now, you're going to get out. We're going to remain friends. We're going to like each other, but you're getting out. Do me one favor. As you're walking through the parking lot, you're going to stay low. Because the last thing I need during Christmas is a group of angry moms attacking my Santa. Good advice. Calm down, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be fine. We're going to handle all your issues. I guarantee you, Santa Land is on top of all of this. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, folks. You better do something soon. We're going to call in reinforcements. You were supposed to be the reinforcements. Well, good afternoon, uh, fellow shoppers. On behalf of our mall management, I wish to apologize for any inconvenience today. And as our our good moms and our good dads know, uh, especially those who have read today's paper, uh, Santa has some issues today. The good news is, the good news is, while today we may not have Santa, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to have an even better Santa, a Santa who is a, a model to our young people on their behavior about being good boys and being good girls. So uh, I would ask you all, if you would please, uh, enjoy your shopping today. And if you come back tomorrow, we'll have an even special, even better candy cane for our young people. All right? So uh, I'd ask everybody, if you could, can we, just, can we just take a step back now? All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, folks. Let's move on along now so we don't block the shoppers. Santa Land will be open again tomorrow. And thank you for your understanding with regards to your issues and this matter. This matter has been... Resolved. Poor guy. He doesn't deserve any of this. Stop by and bring a gift for Tess. What? You don't have to do that? Well, she seemed pretty intense on getting that sign set, and I wanted to make sure Santa fulfilled oh, his, her wish list. Oh my god, Colin. She's going to love it. Oh, thank you. It's already wrapped. <sighs> um, are you gonna stay and get something to eat? Or? I 
I think I better be going. I might be a bit of a distraction today. Hey! Mind your business! This man is my friend, and the system screwed him, okay? Just go back to your meals and be grateful that you don't have to prove your innocence or lose your job because you've been publicly lynched, okay? Excuse me, miss. Sir, a minute, please. God, these people. So, um, did you, uh, butt dial me last night? Wait, what? I got a call on my phone. Oh, that's funny. I... I, I didn't realize. Better be more careful where you put that thing. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Can I get the check? I, I gotta get back. Um, thank you so much for the gift. I mean, Tess is gonna love it. And um, just like FYI, if you ever want to talk, you know, just call. You know? Don't be a weirdo. <laughs> okay. Thank you, officer. Ogre, what's happening? Hey, uh, you said to call whenever I need to talk. Um, I think my mother's dead. What? Yeah, they just uh, took her to the hospital after trying to revive her. You poor thing. I'm coming over there. No, no, Mindy, you don't have to do that. I want to. What's the address? No, really, I I'll be fine. It's okay. Cullen, don't be crazy. You've had, like, so much happen to you today, okay? Just let me do something for you. Look, I'm so sorry. I, I really appreciate it. It, it. It's so nice of you, but I, I'll be f I just needed to tell somebody, you know? It's just so, uh, it's just unbelievable. Colin, I'm coming over. What's your address? No, Mindy, look, I appreciate it. I'll just, I'll just call you tomorrow if that's okay. Colin, don't be an obstinate martyr. Accept the help. If someone is offering you help, accept it. That's what we're on this planet look, for, okay? I really appreciate it. But I'll be fine. I'll just call you tomorrow. Thanks. No, no, no. Don't, don't hang.
Colin, I'm so sorry to hear about your mom. Thank you. Colin, it's a good thing you're already sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We've got some new developments on your case, which I think you're going to be very pleased with. Nancy? Right. It's been a long road, Colin, and we are very happy it's finally coming to an end. Uh, there has been a settlement determined by the state and agreed upon by all parties involved. And I'm going to let Paul tell you the details about that. Taking into consideration the allowable legal authority on such matters pertaining to unjustified incarceration and the monetary payout on such a systematic error, the state and our council have agreed upon the final determination of what you are entitled to. So, taking into consideration the liability of the courts, pain and suffering, entitlement to benefactor, and lost work wages, that is the final settlement number we've agreed upon. Is this real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. Congratulations. The check will be cut this week. Colin, thank you for allowing us to represent you. It was an honor. Cases like yours, it's why I got involved in law in the first place. Thanks. I'll be okay. It's gonna take some time. Our condolences. Thanks very much. You gotta know, your mother's in a better place, safe in the arms of our savior. You know what, Phil? I don't believe that. Oh, is that so? I think you misunderstand the spirit of Jesus. No. I'm more clear-headed than I've ever been. I'm calling out the bullshit. Look, I greatly respect that you came to see my mother off, but this is goodbye, Phil. For good. Take off that stupid earpiece. My friend, if there's anything you need, anything at all, just let me know. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you very much. You remember Mona, don't you? How could I forget? Listen, sorry about losing the job. Now, I know this may not be the right time, but when you're ready, I've been working on a system that's going to get us a lot of clientele for the management company. And uh, I just think it'd be nice if we could get that off the ground. It would be. Hang in there, bro. Thank you. I am expecting you to come over Christmas Eve so that you can watch Tess open her gift from Santa. I accept. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, to be honest, it'll be the first thing I have to look forward to in a long time. First? You met me, didn't you? <laughs> Come at six. I will text you the address. Thanks. Thank you for everything, Billy. Really. appreciate welcome. all your work. After all's gone, we'll continue with the burial process. Our condolences to you. Thanks so much. Thank you. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. You are the sunbeam, the wind in my hair.
sweet as pie day dream I'm dancing on air suddenly I find find myself up here on cloud nine and I wouldn't mind if you came round a lot more of the time spring brings our flowers summer fun in the sun fall leaves on showers winter snow crystal stars Mom can really cook. I love spicy too. Yeah, my mouth is still on fire. Tess really wants to open one gift. I, can we let her? Oh, Kenny, she can't wait. Uh, okay, you know what? What the heck? She can open one, but I want to be there when she opens the rest, okay? Let me ask you something. If you had the chance to start a new life, the opportunity to not have to work anymore and spend all the time with tests that you wanted. Would you do it? Um, well, yeah, but I mean, it seems kind of impossible. Why? Well, because the world doesn't work like that, Colin. <laughs> it can now. Oh, yeah? What's that? I want to be around this, 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 this energy that I feel with you all the time. The, the friendship that we've developed, the butterflies I get in my stomach every time I look at you. And I think I might be falling in love with you. Think? I can totally tell. I've been watching myself coming up with excuse after excuse not to look at you that way. And, um,. It's because I know that there's a really, really big, deep, dark disappointment right around the corner. <laughs> but um, I'm not sad. I'm not used to like moving from faith. It's pretty sad. But you're different. You are. <sighs> oh. You know, ultimately, it really depends on Tess, you know, and, um, well, more importantly, um, how you kiss, because, yeah, it, you know, if the kiss isn't there, yeah, I don't, I don't know if much else can... Wait. <laughs> There's only one first kiss. Actually, that's from Santa. Oh, come on, Mom. I told you I'm a big girl now. Don't believe in that stuff. It's from this Santa right here. Colin got you that. Thank you, Colin! <laughs> no. Thank you. And your mom. Come on, I'm gonna set it up. Hey, wait, test, test. Yeah, Mom? What would you say if I told you that 
we might be seeing a lot more of Colin. What would you think about that? Well, given his taste in toys and moms, I think that would be pretty cool. But more importantly, we have experiments to perform and gifts to open. <laughs> Well, come on, ogre. Let's get this party started. Let's do it. <laughs> come on. Hey, Colin, you want to help me get the science lab set up while I open a few gifts? Are you sure you're ready for this? More than ever. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 